Welcome to Future Consideration, AFC West Draft Grades. That is Matt Ufford. He is our NFL guy. Mm, Dan's our college football expert. Ooh, let's get into the AFC West. Let's start with the Chiefs, the chefs, as I like to the call chefs. them. D Ford, right off the board at 23. Thoughts? I think everyone's saying that's a slight reach at 23. Not a huge need, especially considering that's their strength, rushing the passer already. Yeah. He had needs at wide receiver, at safety, and yep. it's hard to argue that they really filled those. Uh, D'Anthony Thomas is more of a slot back. Curious that, to see uh, how he fills that Dexter McCluster role. Yeah. But still, they need a receiver receiver, and they did not grab one. Yeah, this kind of, we, it's one of those things where we just need to see how the players fill out, but they certainly, it didn't look like they were drafting to need. True, I do like the Aaron Murray pick, just yeah. because he's so accurate, and he, the value is low at this point because of his injury, but I think he could be a high reward guy. As you know, a really good board game player. Great board game mm -hmm. player. I'm gonna say B- minus for the Chiefs, just because I would have liked to see them grab more needs up top. I'm with you, Matthew. Fairburn of mocking the draft game of B, I'll slide it down to B minus. There it is, fair one. enough. All right, let's move on to the reigning AFC champions, Denver Broncos. Your thoughts? Didn't have a ton of need. Uh, this is a, a team that's already pretty deep. They're stacked. Their biggest needs, you could argue, were cornerback mm -hmm. and wide receiver. Yeah, yeah, middle linebacker, certainly a need of uh, some consequence. They got Bradley Roby right away at, at cornerback. That's, yep. that's check in the yep. box. Bing. And then uh, Cody Latimer in the second round. This is a team that, like, hey, we have three really talented wide receivers. That's not enough. You need more. And, well. and Cody Latimer is going to be able to fit into that offense, even as a wide receiver four, wide receiver two, depends on where he falls out with Manny Sanders, Wes Welker, and, and company. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that's that, that's really the first two rounds make that kind of a successful draft. For them. Yeah, I like where they did depth-wise. Lamine Barrow played sort of middle and outside linebacker in the 4-2-5 at LSU. Corey Nelson could be a great ceiling value coming off of a really bad injury, but superstar at Oklahoma in the linebacking core. I'm gonna go even higher than Matthew. I'm gonna say BB plus for the Broncos. Yeah, I think it's a B. Like there's, it's it's a uh, it's B with a possibility of B plus A minus even if, if if guys shake out appropriately. Yeah, San Diego Chargers, Jason Verrett. I think a lot of people had him penciled in right there just because so talented position of need for the Chargers just makes good sense. Terrific speed. Yeah. Uh, position of need. Uh, Ryan Carruthers is one of the best values at nose tackle in the yep. draft. They snagged him late. Large and fast. And uh, in the seventh round, Tevin Reese, a yes. burner to go with Keenan Allen. Uh, you need talented, mm -hmm. you need talent and depth to go to for for uh, Philip Rivers to throw to. Yep, I like Reese and Grice. He's a versatile guy in that ASU offense. I like both of those picks a lot. Over 200. I'm gonna go. Actually, I might even go A minus. I like all of these players, and I like them filling needs for the Chargers. Yeah, I think that that's a they were a playoff team who yes. got better. So yes, they I, did. I might go B plus. I'm with, with Fairburn, but, but B plus A minus is, I, I think we're kind of in the same ballpark there. Here's the shocker, shocker possibly of the draft. Raiders didn't really screw it up. The Raiders didn't do anything stupid. Yeah, they grabbed the most polished defensive player in the draft, maybe outside of Aaron Donald and Khalil Mack. Love that pick. Yeah. Derek Carr, they need a quarterback. Great value in the second yeah. round. Yeah, regardless of what you think about him, Second round pick, sure, that yeah. makes a little bit of and sense. And like Matt Schaub is gonna is gonna take care of that team. You mm -hmm. know, he's not gonna do impressive work, but he's enough that Derek Carr's not shoved into the starting job right away. Gabe Jackson, a very good guard value. Gonna start there. right away. Yep. Uh, Justin Ellis and Keith McGill all off to play early on. This is they added starters to their team. Inside out is how they seem to be building. B plus. Couldn't agree more. I would say I might even go A minus wow. if there's a knock on them. They, I would have liked to see a, a team with as many needs as the Raiders. It's it's hard to fill everything, but Fair enough. some more offensive weapon talent might be nice um, for Matt Schaub mm. slash Derek Carr to throw to. But it's entirely possible that Reggie McKenzie saved his job with that draft. Decent enough. Woo! Those are your AFC West draft grades from me, Dan, and Matthew Fairburn of Mocking the Draft. Yep. Let us know your thoughts.